Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moon Math Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here and your continued love and support here on the channel. For those of you that would like to book a private reading, you can find my email down below in the description box. Just send me an email and I will provide you with more information on booking readings as well as other services with me. Um, we do also have channel memberships open. Um, I have it open for uh, this channel here as well as my second tarot channel, Neptune's Child Tarot. Um, I do want to let you guys know that there are two tiers that are available for each of the channels. Um, and it is the second tier um, available on each of them is where the extra exclusive content videos are available. I know that there's been a little bit of some issues that people have been having with actually seeing um, that there are two tiers available for you guys to choose from. Um, and I'm thinking it might have something to do with those of you that are using iPhone. For some reason, it's only showing that there's one. Um, so I don't know if it's just needing to kind of log into the desktop version or the web version of YouTube versus using the app. Um, where you're able to see that there are two different tiers and like I said, it's the the second level tier where the videos the extra content and um, pick a card readings that I do have posted so um, <clears throat> If you're wanting to check that out, there is going to be a join The channel link yeah, that's going to be pinned to the comments. It's also the fr first link that's available in the description box um, of the videos Okay, and of course you can always locate the join button um, for channel memberships by going to my main channels page and that's just by clicking on my photo and it'll take you to um, the main channel and you can just look for the join button again if you don't see the two tiers there you might want to log into the desktop or web version of YouTube before you just you know especially if you're wanting to at to get access to the videos I noticed that people are joining the first tier and then are saying, where is the videos? <laughs> where is the videos? Um, but it is available on the second tier. So if you're only seeing one tier before you join, make sure that you're on the web version so that you can actually see that there are two choices available um, for you guys. Okay. So today's pick a card reading, we are doing, should you wait or should you move on from your connection that you have on your mind? And it's basically we're going to be asking spirit if it's worth the wait, should you wait um, or should you move on from it? OK, now we do have three choices for you guys today. Pile number one, your crystal here is a black moonstone. OK, so black moonstone for pile number one. Pile number two, yours is troll troll light. I think if I'm pronouncing that correctly, Trollite. That is pile number two. And then pile number three is going to be a Rhodonite. Little heart for pile number three. So should you wait or should you move on? from your connection on your mind. If you have more than one person, of course, you can use a different pile for um, a different person. But I've already pulled the Oracle cards and tarot cards um, for you guys today. So take a moment, pause the video, see which one you feel the most intuitively drawn to um, if you need more time. And I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, Pile One. So those of you that resonate with the Black Moonstone, this is going to be your reading today. So we are finding out, should you wait or move on from this connection? So let's pull out your Oracle first, and then we'll look at your tower. We're going to look at all the energy together. So should you wait or should you move on from this connection? We have number 47, go the distance. We have mending, and then we also have regeneration here. Okay. And then for your tarot, we have the Six of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles. 
We have the lovers. We have the two of wands. And then we also have the five of wands. Okay. So should you wait or should you move on? I feel from this energy already, I can tell that this is about you waiting. Now, I don't like to necessarily tell people that you need to wait or you should wait and just kind of put your life on hold. Um, however, we do have this first message here about going the distance. And it looks like there is a cheetah that looks like it's kind of running really fast. Um, I guess we can call that like the finish line. Okay. Um, with mending here. So look at how the two of these little fairies are kind of sitting together. Um, it looks like they're working on, what are they actually doing? They're putting together, putting something together here. Like they're sewing it together. So for those of you that let's just say you're broken up with this person right now or there's some type of challenge um, because I am seeing the five of wands energy here. Um, I feel like spirit saying to do what you can to really make this connection work. I am feeling with the lovers energy here and the ten of pentacles and the six of cups. For some of you, this is a soulmate. Okay, there's a very strong connection. Um, I do feel like this is a connection that has been divinely guided into your life. And I do feel like there might be some challenges that are kind of coming up for you and this person together. But it can also be inner conflict that either one of you could be challenged by, struggling with. And I certainly feel like there are some changes that need to be made with regards to maybe something that maybe both of you guys are healing here. The Six of Cups can also talk about healing, but it's also about reunion and reconciliation. And we do have regeneration here. So for some of you, it's kind of like giving this connection new life. Um, I do feel since we do have the Lovers card here, this is about your connection being divinely guided. Um, some of you may be working with this person to heal, or it could even be that a connection that's kind of serving as a catalyst for both of you to heal. And I'm noticing that the two little fairies that are sitting down here, they look like children. So perhaps for some of you, this might even be surrounding healing wounds surrounding your inner child, respectively for each of you. I am feeling with the Ten of Pentacles energy here. This talks about marriage, long-term relationship, security over the long haul. So I do feel like this will be a connection. For some of you, this is your person. This is the person that you're meant to be with. Um, so I, I feel like it can certainly be something that is worth the wait. Now, when I say that, you know, of course, that doesn't mean that you are putting your entire life on hold. However, um, waiting, of course, for someone can be quite challenging you know, kind of waiting for things to kind of come into alignment or waiting on divine timing. But I almost feel like Spirit's saying here, if you are experiencing challenges or difficulties right now, know that there is healing that's taking place. This connection is one that is divinely guided. There may be some challenges or conflict or tension even between you and this person right now. However, I do feel like for those of you that are separated or you're noticing that there's challenges, it's the two of you being able to kind of overcome those challenges, make some changes within the self, some healing, definitely feeling some inner child healing here or even healing from past relationships. Um, but the two of you being able to kind of make this work and that could be both of you, you know, of course, putting in the effort to make it beyond the challenges that are here. You know, the Two of Wands also talks about planning and about choices and about choosing your path. So perhaps for some of you, it could even be a situation where both you and the other persons, your life could also be kind of taking you into different directions for different experiences. And then knowing that this is the universe kind of realigning you and this person together into union. Um... So I'm kind of seeing this as like a fight for love or the divine kind of guiding this in divine timing. Okay, so I when I see this to me, it's like worth the wait. 
okay? Like I said, for some of you, this is your person. This is the person that you're meant to be with. Um, I do want to pull, I think I want to pull some more Oracle here just for these little empty spots right here and see what else we can add in to. Do I want to use that one? No, let's use something else. Okay, and then we're also going to pull some uh, messages at the end for you guys. Okay, let's see. What else, Spirit? But this is a yes. You should wait. Okay, you should hold on or wait or, you know, expect that there will be reconciliation here between you and this person. Regeneration to me is kind of like that, again, that reconciliation energy new new life being brought into this connection so it's worth the fight okay worth the fight worth worth the worth the challenges even though it might be seeming like the obstacles are you know maybe feeling like they're a lot um i feel like it's going to be worth it to put in the effort to get past and if that means you know taking some time to work on yourself and working on your healing it is going to be to the benefit of the connection between you and this person. Okay? So let's see. Should you wait or move on from this connection? Pile number one. What is this doing in here? But it's coming out. This deck isn't even, or this card isn't even supposed to be in here. We have a robotic heart. It says empty feelings, boring, and routine. And then we have perspective. Perspective. And what else? For pile one. And then we have distance here. Okay. So it could also be where Spirit is saying here that if one person with the robotic heart here, because this to me is kind of like when a person is closed off, okay? Or they're having difficulties with really opening up their heart for feelings and emotions. There's clearly an energy of healing here. And I feel like with the distance and perspective being here, it's almost like saying that if you and this person separate or there's this um, withdrawal kind of happening in this situation between you and this person, that it could certainly be the distance, right, from each other, from you and, you know, you and the other person that creates this change or shift of perspective to maybe recognize within the self where one could be blocking out love here. Um, you know, lovers can be a very beautiful connection between two people. Some of you might even have past life connection with this person. Okay. But like I said, I kind of feel like maybe if this is an energy that's happening here in this five of wands where a person is kind of closed off to love, not really opening themselves up, but maybe it is that distance that's needed for a person to work on healing or even their inner child. I mean, now you may even be able to kind of make things work with a person, even with this, because it could be where both you and the other person really support one another through your healing and work together to mend the relationship where you recognize that one person has a little bit of a wall up or they are a little bit guarded in the relationship, but still know enough that knowing that you are the person that they want to be with or that you know that you want to be with them and trying to work past these um, issues that are there, okay? At the bottom of the deck, I am seeing missing you and it says thoughts of you on their mind, considering feelings and emotions. And then we also have reconciliation and opportunity, okay? And we have the choice here, choice between two. Your heart already whispers the answers and it says listen, okay? So like I said, for some of you, divine protection is also at the bottom. The universe is keeping your love connection safe, okay? So for those of you that are kind of a little, maybe a little bit worried, like is this going to be able to work out? And if there is a little bit of, you know, resistance here or challenges, you know, spirit is basically telling you here, go the distance, you know, do whatever it is that you can that is within your control, uh, you know, to let this person know how you feel. And, you know, if this person says, okay, I need some space, I need to work on my healing, or you're noticing that there's still a little bit of some blockages here, either coming from either side, you know, I feel like the important thing here is that with the lover's card and the six of cups is that you guys provide that amount of 
comfort and support, right, to each other to really build that connection um, with one another. Okay, so definitely a yes, pile number one, you should wait or it's going to be worth the wait for you with this, however you choose to look at that. Okay, so that is all that I have for you, pile number one. I do hope this is helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Pile 2. So those of you that resonated with the Trollite, um, this blue crystal here, this is going to be your reading today. So we are finding out, should you wait or move on from the connection um, in your mind? And we are going to be adding in some additional Oracle cards. Um, but let's put out your these ones here. So should you wait or move on, Pile 2? We have Thinker, number 44. We have Between Worlds with card number three. And then we also have Milk and Honey with number 51. Hmm, okay. So we have the World card. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands in Reverse. And also the Ten of Swords. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, I think for your pile, I'm going to add the other two oracle cards in now. And I think I want a little bit more information on that between worlds here. Okay, so should you wait or move on from this connection? We have divine time. And chemistry okay so spirit saying you guys have chemistry with each other <laughs> we have chemistry here um, this makes me feel though with the seven of wands energy in reverse that someone And this, of course, could be either one of you here. That is not, almost like someone's not fighting for the connection. Um, I am seeing an ending here, okay? We do have the Ten of Swords and the world. Perhaps some of you, this is a breakup, okay? And I'm noticing that in this Four of Pentacles card, how he kind of is just sitting here with those pentacles on the table. He doesn't look very happy. Um, and then we have the thinker here where she also too looks like she's just sitting there. So it almost kind of makes me feel that, you know, for some of you where this is resonating as this is like an ex-partner or somebody that you used to date, it almost kind of makes me feel like spirit saying here that you could be potentially waiting for this person to take action here and give you more. And there might also be attachment here because the Four of Pentacles can talk about possession. It can talk about control um, and maybe also gripping onto something or holding onto something very tight. I want to clarify that uh, Between Worlds card. But I'm almost noticing that the Between Worlds, how on one side of the card it's very dark. And then the other side, it's very bright. And then after that, you guys have the milk and honey card. And this card reminds me a lot of the six of swords in the tarot, which is about kind of like this energy of transition. So with this already, it kind of makes me feel like spirit saying maybe this is a situation that you should move on from in order for you to receive what it is that you really are um, 
deserving of, which is the milk and honey. Okay. Although it might be painful, you know, to move on or to let go of this person, I almost feel like this connection could be something that where there is attachment or being unwilling or having a difficult time with letting someone go. But like I said, it almost feels like one person is not wanting to persevere here. Almost like a person who gives up or is not wanting to reciprocate um, your energy here. So what is this between worlds here? The tower. Okay. And the hierophant. And we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. So I feel like with the Queen of Swords energy here in reverse, where this is spirit saying that there could be a lack of clarity here. Also indecision. A person who's not taking action or being clear and decisive about relationship or commitment here. Now the Tower energy is divine intervention. Um, it's also about a connection that may be very erratic, unstable, or could be that there are already some signs uh, maybe even red flags for some of you in the connection where it's kind of showing that one person is wanting to give right more into the connection perhaps than the other person. One person could be closing themselves off to giving more and it's leaving. It might even be a little bit of a stuck energy here. Okay. A little bit of a stuck energy. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm seeing the three of swords is just popping out here. The Three of Swords is is breakup. It is separation. Um, she kind of looks like she's really, really upset. She's crying. She looks like she's holding a letter. Um, so perhaps some of you, you know, like I said, you could have gone through a really bad breakup with this person and having a hard time letting go. Or I will say this. Those of you where this might be a newer situation where you haven't really had a breakup, there can be the person that you're connecting with who is still a little bit closed off to love. Okay. Um, and so this may be a situation that if this person is showing you that they are very guarded, very closed off, maybe not ready for love at this time, it might be more beneficial for you to just move on from the situation. Okay. Um, Let's see. What do we want to clarify here? Let's look at the world. Okay, so we've got the star and the three of cups. Yeah, I'm feeling there's there's an energy here of someone who's healing from some type of third party energy here. Um, meaning that either one of you could still be holding on to past energies from past relationships. And that could be something that is affecting one from being able to visualize or see this connection. Okay, what is this milk and honey here? We have the Knight of Swords, the Four of Cups. Yeah, I kind of feel like Spirit is saying here that this connection might not necessarily be one that's going to last, um, or it, sh it shouldn't be one that you limit yourself to. I almost feel like Spirit's saying there might be, um, there's energy of rejection here, okay? It could be a person who's cho not choosing to open up to the relationship, the connection. Um, I am feeling like Spirit is kind of wanting you to open yourself up to other opportunities uh, in this connection. I'm not, sorry, not in this connection, other connections, period. Okay, that this should be one that you should work towards detachment, releasing and moving on from maybe really also take some time to think about, you know, what signs the universe is showing you in this situation, because we do have the tower present. The tower can certainly give us a little bit of a shake up, a little bit of a wake up call, a realization, an epiphany that maybe this is serving as some type of transitional connection for you, meaning that it's kind of like a pastime. Not really something that is meant to last for you, but more or less a connection that just kind of passes through something that you're not holding on to because I do feel like there could be certain things that you do learn or even heal through with this person 
the the experience of it that kind of leads you into the leads you towards your milk and honey okay so let's just get some guidance here so i think the the final answer here is that this should be one that you should move on from okay pile number two what is your advice your guidance We have Starkeeper here. It says Cosmic Ancestors Seed the Light by Staying Grounded. Okay, so staying grounded in this connection. We also have Lifting the Veil here, Questioning Everything. And it says anything unaligned must go. And maybe the Lifting the Veil here is you kind of seeing maybe the reality of the situation taking some time to really think about things or to look at maybe something that you're missing. Because sometimes the Four of Cups energy could be that we have a blind spot. It could be something that we are distracted. We're, we're choosing to distract ourselves away from, say, like the obvious. Maybe something that we're not seeing about this person or the situation. So this is basically Spirit wanting you to really work towards grounding yourself and maybe lifting that veil of illusion perhaps that because the tower helps to break down illusion okay it also helps to remove things out of our life that are unstable or not meant to be for us and then we have big picture thinking here pleiades energy uh visionary and inspired ideas and i almost kind of see this here as this brand new portal here that you're being guided towards, which is your milk and honey here. Okay. To really hold out or see what it is that spirit, even though this could be painful for some of you, letting go of this person and moving on from them. I feel like it's spirit trying to redirect you. Okay. Which is also the way that I see the tower is divine redirection, helping us to release or realize, you know, what we need to release that go of in order to kind of get us shifted towards where we're meant to be, which is going to be your milk and honey, which I'm feeling is elsewhere. Okay. All right. So that is all that I have for you. Pile number two. I do hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So those of you that resonated with the Rhodonite heart, this is going to be a reading today. So we're finding out, should you wait or move on from this connection? Is it worth the wait or should you move on from it? Okay. So let's see. Let's look at your oracle first. We have to be fair with number 38. We have building blocks number 28. And then we also have exchanging gifts number 27. We have the nine of pentacles, the four of wands, the king of cups, the sun, and the five of swords. Okay. I feel that for this one, pile three, you should wait, okay? Um, or that it's, yes, it's going to be worth the wait. Um, we do see the Five of Swords energy here, which is, you know, it is can be a very challenging energy. However, I feel like you and this person can overcome this because here with the Four of Wands card, we can see there's a couple who's getting married. Um, and the Four of Wands is talking about stability and harmony. It can also talk about marriage and commitment. And I'm also seeing the King of Cups energy here, which does have to do with emotional support, emotional balance, stability. Um, and the two of you really having compassion, love for one another, empathy, caring, nurturing type of energy. And then you also have the sun here, which is about life force, vitality, abundance, um, you know, accomplishment, confidence, power. You do have beautiful energy here with exchanging gifts and the building blocks here. So I'm definitely feeling like you and this person, 
you know, may, perhaps it, it kind of makes me feel like maybe there is some issues here surrounding communication. Okay. And I feel it's particularly for either you and the or the other person or even the way that you exchange communication with each other. It kind of looks like there might be some trust issues here. There might be some betrayal wounds. There might be a person who's been a victim to another's mistreatment through words, through actions. And no, that doesn't necessarily have to be something that has happened between you and this person. But it can certainly be something from past situations, respectively, that have affected your connection or the way even in which you communicate with each other. Um, the Five of Swords can sometimes be when we are acting confrontational or aggressive or even a little defensive because we don't want to get hurt. Um, but with the to be fair here, I feel like you guys can certainly work towards finding balance and treating each other with love, with kindness, with respect, with integrity. Okay, because it also reminds me a lot of the Justice card, which is about fairness and balance and you know, treating each other fairly, because especially if either one of you is kind of bringing in old baggage from your past, trust issues from your past, and it has nothing to do with this person or with you, we could be projecting our past onto this relationship or onto each other and being triggered, right? So I, I feel like it's certainly that you and this person may be working on yourselves, okay? Because we do have the Nine of Pentacles energy here, which has to do with independence, security, stability. You know, it could be that you, the other person, or both of you may need to really work on that, okay? Um, and to really help to work together to build something solid and stable, um, this kind of reminds me a lot of the eight of pentacles energy, which is about self mastery, working on the self dedication, commitment. Um, you know, with the five of swords energy, we might also have a tendency to self sabotage or to have negative thoughts, negative thinking. Um, you know, and also certainly like, let's just say that it's, it's, the other person, right, that, that you're noticing that they are self-sabotaging or that they are having some trust issues here. I feel like if you are able to come in with the King of Cups energy, and of course this needs to happen on both sides, right? Um, the King of Cups is very compassionate, very loving, very nurturing, right? So I feel like if, if your person is someone who's being a little defensive or, you know, kind of showing you signs that maybe they're triggered. If we can respond with King of Cups energy, it can help to show or even reinforce how grounded we are and how we're not kind of looking at another person's wounds and, you know, attacking one another, but more or less understanding each other's pain understanding and respecting each other's healing process and kind of showing that we can be a strong emotional support and a safe space in order for someone to heal so that they no longer have to feel like I need to be on the defense. I need to continue on with my trust issues. I need to continue on with the self-sabotaging thoughts. I feel like when we can kind of embody the energy that is confident, that is in our power, that is solid and stable and secure, right? It can certainly create a shift in energy between you and this person that instead of both of you guys, say, being triggered and fighting and arguing and bringing in a bunch of negativity and drama and, you know, just constantly fighting with each other, it's kind of learning to listen to what the other person is saying through their maybe say like nonverbal cues or their body language and just kind of really taking time to understand and listen okay to each other of course it has to be something that's mutual you know and maybe that works with both of you guys taking a good look within the self too right to see okay what is it that I can work on with my own energy to seem more nurturing more comforting more emotionally supportive of this person because I 
if we know that a person's hurting, right? We don't want to necessarily make them kind of pull away, right? And make them feel like they can't trust us, that we're going to hurt them, vice versa, right? It'd be the same on the other side where you can kind of even tell the person, right? This is what I need. These are my triggers and this is what I need from you. And how can we work together to move past the challenges and the obstacles that are here? Okay. So I feel like maybe communication could be one thing that you guys could work on here to really work something to provide more stability and security. But also when you can be secure within yourself, stable, solid, you can certainly create a lot more harmony and balance in your connection with this person. So I feel like looking at this is worth the wait. I'm sure that you guys can, you know, get past this, work through healing that. Um, let's see. Should you wait or move on from this connection? Pile three. We have engagement. Wow. And we have memories here. Yeah. So with the memories here, you know, I feel like you and this person may have a lot of memories to create with each other that the two of you guys will cherish with each other. If you're not already, you know, in that commitment type of energy with this person, I certainly feel like, you know, for some of you, potential marriage is in your future with this person, long-term relationship commitment, happier times. Um, I do want to look at this Five of Swords energy a little bit. Let's see. Why is the Five of Swords here? Four of Swords. Page of Swords. And the strength in reverse. Okay. So there's fear here. There's the eight of pentacles that I was feeling with that building blocks. Okay. So this is a person. I mean, it could be either one of you. A strength card in reverse is about fear. About fear. And maybe it's learning how to express and communicate. Because we do have the page here. Um, now, page energy is kind of like a child or the energy of like a novice, meaning that we're inexperienced when it comes to the, maybe the way that we're thinking or speaking or acting. Um, so there's a little bit of learning and growing here, okay, that needs to happen. However, we do have the Eight of Pentacles here, and the Eight of Pentacles is about really putting in the dedicated, hard effort, work, commitment to something. And I feel like in this case, it's self-improvement, okay? The Four of Swords is about meditation. It's about healing. This may be either one of you kind of looking at what your fears are or even being able to recognize what the other person's fears are, right? And kind of being more aware of where our actions, right, could be creating further conflict or, you know, fear. So again, coming in with King of Cups energy, supportive, emotionally stable, nurturing, right? Now, it's not to say that, you know, you shouldn't have boundaries and that you shouldn't speak up or stand up for yourself. Like if a person is doing something that is wrong, you should. However, being able to control, right, um, your own emotions. Also, for those of you that have a temper, okay, I will say because we have the strength card in reverse, um, and that can also be when we, we don't have control over our own anger, which can certainly be something that comes out. Like if you are somebody who has a sharp tongue or the other person has a sharp tongue or they bite back, right? Kind of like with the conversations, um, sometimes snarky comments or remarks and stuff like that, which can also come from this page energy, which again, this is going to kind of indicate a little bit of immaturity. Okay. However, we can grow, we can learn. Um, and I feel like it's possible. And like I said, I kind of feel like there could be a little bit of some communication issues here. Um, but certainly worth the wait with putting in the time, the effort, the energy to and work on improving things so that it creates more of a harmonious balance that's here. Okay. So I feel like it's worth the wait. It could lead to something very beautiful. 
for many of you that chose this pile. And that could certainly be aware of your, what your own fears are, your own triggers are, and then the other person's and being able to come together to talk about them and learn how to express your fears or learn how to express your triggers or you know things for you. And so you know, okay, this is what I need to work on with myself. And, you know, kind of a very loving, supportive energy that the that you have towards the other person that makes them feel like, okay, it's safe to heal here. It's safe for me to kind of um, feel like I'm not being criticized or I'm not being judged or I'm not being attacked. Um, I don't have to be constantly on the defense and things like that. So it really helps to kind of create more stable energy for the two of you. Okay, so let's pull some... Uh, messages for some guidance here but yes I do I do feel like it is going to be worth the wait or you should wait pile number uh, three let's see we have the cosmic heart and it says devotion potency make your life a moving prayer and then we have you are not alone, isolation, physical connection, and community. So for those of you maybe that you're separated right now, I feel like what Spirit's showing to you is that you and this person are very connected. Okay. Very connected. Um, I feel I'm definitely 5D energy here. And also in this card here, the cosmic card, it looks like her heart chakra is kind of glowing and lighting up here. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the great severing, Mars energy, anger, conflict, and softening to love. Okay, softening to love. And that I'm definitely feeling that here, especially with us having this Five of Swords here and the King of Cups. Kind of like I was saying, we want to let go of this angry, conflict, defensive, victim mentality, self-sabotage, um kind of thing here you know that mentality that way of thinking you know one person could also be feeling like and this won't be for all of you but some of you might even be like in that mentality of I need to cut this off before you hurt me you know and that would again go into that self-sabotaging type of energy um so it really is you know both you and this person working towards embodying more of the energy of love and softening okay versus the defensive aggressive confrontational um, or even victim mentality trust issues betrayal wounds things of that nature okay it's more or less working through this energy of conflict learning how to resolve it right you two of you learning how to talk to each other communicate like I said communication can be a thing here you know and learning how to navigate conflict is not always easy you know learning how to navigate conflict with with another person um how to kind of make the conversation be something that is beneficial to where both people feel heard both people feel like you know you guys both listen to each other um Kind of like reading between the lines, you know, with another person and kind of understanding, again, where the other person's coming from, what, where they're expressing to you, and not responding in that same energy, right? We want to respond from King of Cups energy, okay? Softening to the energy of love. And maybe that means you letting your guard down or the other person letting their guard down. Or, you know, if the person is coming in with this type of energy that you return that energy with King of Cups energy, you know, and like I said, it doesn't mean that you're excusing any type of behavior, any way they want to treat you. You know, of course, if there's something that they're doing and it is not right, that you do speak up for yourself. However, we're coming again from King of Cups energy. Okay, we're taking on a more balanced, more fair, more grounded approach to it versus returning Mars energy. Okay, <laughs> returning that energy. Okay. All right, so that is all that I have for you, pile number three. I do hope this is helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading.